Hey guys, we're gonna be doing a we're gonna be doing a uh, special video. I'm gonna be cooking hardtack today. It's 11, so uh, not 11, it's 10, and uh, I'm doing this for a project. So you know, I got the uh, three in steps right here, and we're gonna be doing this together, you and me. So ingredients we'll first need is uh, some salt, is salt of course, flour, and water, which. Uh, Need to get that later. Of course, a bowl. So, oh yeah, those. Uh, I think I got honey on it. At least the inside of the bowl's clean. So, okay. First step is that you need to add the flour. So you gotta just open this bad boy. Flip it out. Get to scooping. Okay, there's a malfunction. We'll just pour it then. And perfection. I think just a bit over. Pour that in there. Second cup, yeah, two cups of this good old all purpose flour. I forgot to mention it's all purpose flour, so you know. Sorry if I, I tricked you. There we go, two flours is done. And then you gotta add a three fourths a cup of, uh, of a kosher sea salt, which uh, it's solely add to make it non perishable because this thing is, is not gonna taste good, like at all. It's gonna be bad. Because it's, it's hard tack. So you just got there's literally just a whole lot of salt into this bad boy. Just, just a whole lot of salt. Just goddamn. Like, is it necessary to have the most salt? Yes, it's to make it non perishable. These things are going to meant to last you forever. That's why it's called survival bread. And it's why people in the Civil War used it. It's also extremely tough. And hey, it's best used in soups, stews, and beefs. You gotta let it soak in the juices for around 10 to 15 minutes as I waste up almost all my kosher salt on half a cup worth of literal fucking salt. I read it wrong. That's water. Okay. So I may have messed up. Okay, but we can fix this. I think I can unscrew this part here and just dump the salt back in if I'm just smart enough, you know. To, oh god, just need it. Oh god, Ugh. <laughs> I may have done something wrong. So, uh, just gotta. Well, at least I can still scoop it out. Actually, yeah, we just needed a. Uh, one and a half teaspoons. Yeah, I just, you know, I'm just a total genius when it comes to reading my own instructions that I goddamn wrote for this. Just, man, I'm so, just so smart. Just a total utter genius there. Just sprinkle that in there. I'm just got that in half. Just half for it. Uh, yeah, in here. Just get this part. And, uh, just get the tip of it out. That looks good enough. There we go. Put this salt, uh, I need to find a container for it. Uh, maybe like a jar? Cause I just literally wasted all of this kosher salt, so. Goddamn. Uh, oh lord, oh lord. Uh, there might be a small container for salt, hold on. Uh, actually. Facing this way now. I'll have to go find some salt. Uh, a salt container. Uh, this is good. I think this will fit.
Okay. Can't find a lid that fits. This is trial and error. Maybe this will fit. Let's see here. It will. This will be our container. Is this and this a bit much for like half a cup of salt? Well, I ain't not risking spilling that thing over the floor, so we're gonna add it to this thing. The prolonging the experience. There we go. Now there's just a salt bit right there. You know, just a nice little salt thing. It'll seal the salt. Here, try to throw that over there. And now you actually need this for water. So. Uh, yeah, this looks good. And then just dump it in. It says this should call for three fourths, and you gotta whip out a fourth cup. Just give that a nice little dunk in the water. Carry that over, and dunk it in. By the end, it should look like that. And now, you mix with none other than a spatula. That I completely missed out on. I gotta go over here. I have no clue what this is called. So we're gonna call it a spatula. And then you start mixing. Start mixing all around. It is meant to entirely be thick, meant to be you know, thingy. It's good. Make it non-sticky. That's what it's, it's what we're rating for, and that's what it's all about. So, uh, until I should have used my hands, and not this. Oh, well, there's a bit of a situation here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh God. Uh, another wacky situation with me. Am I right? You gotta use this butter knife. Just get, get down. Get out of my spatula. Get out of my little spatula thingy. It's kind of special, stupid for me, but you know, it's how I roll. Yeah. Get up, get out of there, get skedaddle. Oh. Disgusting slime ball. Oh, Come to, yeah, get out of there. Come on, come on, get out. Just need you out of there, okay. Thank God I washed my hands before this. And then I need to wash them again. Yeah. Yeah. Get out. Get out. I don't got no time for this. This past few minutes have been nothing but trial and error for me, okay? And I really want to get this done as fast as possible. I'm just going to use my this hand here and mix it up. Just gonna, come on, just gonna mix it all in there. Get all the flour, all that just make it a non-sticky mess of pain and agony. So, dump that back in there. Just, gonna, just come on. Just, just, I'm gonna cover my hands in flour at this point, goddamn. Just a bunch of sticky, messy, gunky goo. That stuff, god damn, it's everywhere. Just gonna go, just gonna put some gunky, gooey stuff in there. Yeah, there we go. Now you should have a nice bowl that looks like this. A non sticky thing. This, don't mind this. This is just a, you know, just this disgusting thing. Anyway, oh yeah, I'm listening to this Dependium. Thank credit to him. Very good music, gotta admit. And uh, just gotta. God damn it. Stupid goddamn thing. There we go. Just, there we go. There we go. And now I just gotta. Now it should be just a, plump, just a ball of flour. Just a big ball. I forgot to preheat the oven to 375. Just, I'm just a bunch of chicanery at this point. Man. 
Nice. So unintelligent. Good work. Three, seven, five. Start. Well, that is going. Probably reset soon. We have uh, done that. And now on to stage two. The board. Move all this out of the way. Because we got a board. A board with dough. A board dough, you may say. <laughs> I'm not fine. Anyway, just gotta squish that part down. Just a bit of sticky parts. We're just gonna fold that in. Now, should not be sticky at all. Just, there we go. Just lather more of that flour in there. There we go. Maybe, of course, per usual, with this thing, then just use a tad bit of flour to lather up the board. There we go, that should be enough. Too much, it should just be enough. There we go, it's just so. Uh, there we go. Slap that down, and you gotta make sure that this thing is around a third and, or a half an inch thick. Although, that does sound a bit odd. It has to be that way for it to work effectively. Now you also need a rolling pin, which I so conveniently have on me right now. I'm just go. Actually, I'm going to use this little fine dandy device I have down here to roll my stuff right here. Turn this way and look at that—a nice little dispenser thing. And then you just got to roll it up. Yeah, we're not make, we're not looking to make that much, but we're looking to make much. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Sticky little bastard. I'm just gonna gonna lather you more with with that flour. I just need more flour. You greedy little man. I'm just trying to show a fucking video that's short because you disobey me. There you go. Whatever. Lather you on there. There we go. There we go. It's gonna should be enough flour to make you comply. There we go. Now, I need to get a measure. You gotta make sure this thing's half an inch. I got this metal thingy. See, this thing's half an inch, not a quarter inch. Okay. Not as I expected. I'm gonna remold this bad boy into a, a thick ball and retry again. There's clearly, it wasn't good enough last time. So remold and remold. Remold in this ball. Remold the ball so it can be half or third inch thick. So I can make at least three pieces of heart attack. Maybe one, just enough to make one. And this is this is all it needs. There we go. Just give it a few slaps. There we go, just go. Ooh! Good sudden slaps. Now, with that, I'm gonna try to roll again. Just roll it up. Roll it up. Just make it nice and thick. And make sure it maintains its thickness, its wide appeal. There we go. I'm just gonna curl it up. I'm just gonna measure it. Okay, it's a, a bit. I'm just gonna throw it out a bit over here. Yeah, Haven't heard this song for this to cut me in that. This is around two thirds thick, so I'm just gonna mush it down a bit more. There we go. 
Maybe this will help out. Now it says, I am an amateur cook, if you did not know. Uh, that is perfect. One half of it. That's a perfect one half. Now, you gotta cut it up. Only reasonable knife is this. Just as long, double the thickness, totally necessary. Do not hold these kids. It's very dangerous. Now you got to cut it up into three squares. Three inches, shit. Which is at, uh, man, if only it was three by three. Yeah, that looks good. I'm just gonna start cutting it up. Uh, maximize dough efficiency. Maybe here. Yeah, here. And then here. Go around to me here and then here and cut it in half like this to make little hard tack squares and then the recommended use. I'm just gonna now you got your little thingies going on. There is gonna be a little bit of hard tack excess, which is all this which will be cooking up and molding into their own individual squares, which are very necessary to the process. I knew I didn't cut that enough because the dough is remolding it itself. Got to go. There we go. I'm just going yeah, 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 yeah. to keep each separated. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Now you got yourself two logistically equally dumb squares right there. Little dumb squares. That, that, there you go. The rest of these excess ones, I'm going to mold. Mold into the perfect life form. The perfect embodiment of heart attack mold. Slab that one. Mix, combine these two into a disgusting pile of ball and press them together. This is pure, okay, this one's very sticky. This one is undercooked. Just gonna mold. Give that one a bit more flour. And then, entirely for my English project, make it Civil War based food. Yeah, okay, this one's a bit too sticky. Might, might only go for three. As these ones are getting a bit too sticky, and the flour is not helping out that much. So, there we go. And that would probably help with the, uh, the stickiness problem. Yeah, it certainly has helped a lot. So it's good. Don't want it soft. You want it dry. There we go. And then you got another hard tack ball right there. Sorry that I'm not doing the best form possible. It's just I'm making five hard tack out of the uh, stuff I have currently on hand. There we go. And just get all these together. Got to wait like an hour for this kind of stuff to work properly. So I'm just going to have a hard tack ball right there. And then uh, you're gonna need something to poke it with. Uh, so, what I got here is a candle. I got nothing else to poke it with, so we're gonna be poking candle holes in it for the steam effect. To poke holes into it, you know, just gotta, you know, just, there we go. Poke few holes to make it do better in the cooker. No, this, don't worry, this thing's completely clean. Checked. Just gonna keep poking the holes. We won't know if we're entirely going to make a disgustingly hard piece of bread, or we're gonna make something worse. An unedible piece of bread. At least hard tax edible. I know my cooking can be rather edible and delicious, disgusting and unedible. So, we have our pulp. We have our 
glamorous things together. Transition. Okay, lads, the oven is now ready. We got the heart attack done. I did shit editing because the thing closed off and I wasn't willing to replay it. So you got the heart attack. The thing's got to go. And we're going to put this in right here, right now. We'll just turn this around. There we go. We're going to be using this oven right here because this one doesn't work. I think it doesn't. This one will do. We got the true temp right there. Chip half there. And then we're gonna stick this bad boy in. We're gonna wait for 30 minutes. And then I'll come back to you. There we go. And then you just toss this man up. Intermission song. Beow, beow. Intermission over. Okay, the things are done cooking on one side. So we're gonna get pull it out and first we need to get a spatula. I, also, I don't know what they call the other thing, I think it's called a something. So we got the spatula, and we're now gonna put those things. So uh pull that up. Uh, so far our heart attack's doing good. I can't tell if this thing's... <sighs> okay, hard tack. Looking at it like it's coming along quite well. Let me just close this to preserve the heat. Pull this off. Let's get you close to this. Hard tack's doing well. Look at that. No. Ooh, this kick out of the way. Spatula to flip them. Okay. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. God damn it. There we go. Next. Okay, we're doing, we're doing better. There we go. Nice and baked tops. Let me show you right now. There we go. The top is nice and baked. Ow. Sorry, I just hit you guys. And now we're going to put this back in the oven for another 30 minutes. On that side, to cook it more. Yeah. Okay, let's just put this back in there. Okay, you know what? Hey Alexa, set alarm for 30 minutes. And now, Woo! transmission. Transition. Okay guys, the alarm has just gone off and uh, I'm gonna be taking out the heart tack. Finally, after it's been done, it's been an hour, and it's already midnight, so I have to just take these out and just see how they're doing. Since it is over there cooking on it by a minute, hope it doesn't affect that much. And, we're gonna and finally, we have made hard tack. Stop the oven. And let's check it out. And that is what your hard tech would be looking like. A nice, dense, dry, pretty much unperishable piece of disgusting bread. Now, thank you for joining me today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, algorithm. I haven't posted in a few months, so my bad. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you all later. Uh, Adios, amigos.